Hey everyone, this is Colton with Holy Smokes RC and Desert Aircraft. Today what we're going to do is we're going to set up the Holy Smokes bump on a DX20 transmitter. First thing we want to keep in mind is we're going to try to set this up with the lowest smoke rate available. By doing that, you get the cleanest burn of your smoke without extra mess on your plane. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign the channel that the smoke's going to be working on. Second thing we're going to do is we're actually going to make a mix for the throttle to couple to that channel to control the smoke at a lower rate. All right, here we go. All right, so first thing we want to do is we want to go into this root menu. So you can do that by pressing on the scroller and turning on the transmitter. Actually, so since we missed that, what we can also do is we can scroll down to the system setup. Turn the IRF off, of course. And we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the channel assign. So we've got this set up on the gear channel. So you'll go to the next page down here. Click on that. Right now it's currently set up on A. I want to change it to H. You can do that on the spectrum just by uh, flipping the switch that you want to use. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to hit the back button twice and that will bring us into the aircraft. Before we even turn this on, because it'll actually cause you a lot of hassle, I happen to know that I want this channel reversed. You may not, but we can always change that later. So I'm going to go ahead and reverse it. So that way it's off now and then pulling is on. Second thing we're going to do is we need to change the endpoints because on a spectrum, it's actually still set too high. You have to think of your smoke pump like an ESC on an electric airplane. So in the off position that we're using, we're going to raise this up to at least 125. You can go, you can max it out if you want to. So I'm just going to put some random value and we'll call it good there. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the aircraft, make the smoke pump activate. All right, so we've heard a tone, so that means it's actually armed. We should be able to pull this switch and it run. So we've got it set to run really high right now. What we're going to do is we're actually going to lower the other point, the on position, down to about 20. If you go lower than that, you have no adjustment. So we need to go to between 20 and 30. We're going to start off on 20 for the lowest smoke rate we can get. Later on, if you feel like you need more, you can bump this up a percent at a time and it'll actually change the mix. So we're going to turn that back off now. Now what we need to do is we need to go down to the mixing menu. I'm going to create the first P mix. Set it just as a normal mix. Actually, sorry, set it as a curve mix. We're going to assign the channel, the master first, to be throttle. The slave is going to be the gear channel. And we need to assign the switch. Again, you can just click on, or you can scroll over and select it, but we're just going to flip switch H, and that's going to turn that on. Now we need to assign the on position, which is actually going to be 1. In this case, you can see the little scroller tab flip over. So we're going to unhighlight 0 for off. Now we need to add some points into the mix. So what you'll do is you'll scroll along, and you've got these three already preset. We need to fill up this whole space. So by moving this, you'll see where this add point comes in down here. Right there. As you move the throttle stick, that turns on and off. So what we want to do is we just want to try to get an even range on the throttle stick. You can see the cursor over there to be on the add point. So I'm just going to fill in the gaps here just by moving the throttle stick along until it says add point again. And then we've added all these points into the mix. First thing we're going to do is start off with zero or number one. So at idle, what we want to do is we want to lower this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to highlight this one. I'm going to start by raising this. And you'll hear it slow down. So we're just going to max that one out. I'm going to go to the next point. Then we're going to match that since this is at... Let's see, that's at about quarter throttle for the next point. So for those two, you're essentially still idling, so you want them to be the same. Going to the next point, that's more of about 
three eighths or above throttle. So we actually want to add just a little bit onto that, or subtract it in this case, to be just a little bit of a higher flow. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that. We're going to bump that off to about 122. So you'll hear the slight pump difference as I move up into the next segment. So what we want to do is we want to make a gradual curve, just a gradual slope through this range. You can see I'm keeping the points mostly the same, and then right here I'm at like 7 eighths, and then the next one will be full throttle. So these I'm going to back off to about 120. And we'll do a test and see what it sounds like. And this is how you'll, one of the ways you'll adjust your smoke rate later on down the road. This is what we'll start off at. And if you feel like you need more, then you can add more later on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to idle. And then I'm going to slowly raise it and you'll be able to hear the pump difference. So say we wanted full throttle to sound like it had, or give it more smoke, so what we'll do is we'll lower that. So you can see your throttle stick's actually changing that pump movement. So that's all you need to do there, and that's how you get that mix set up. And then your switch back here will turn it off. All right. You can pick up a Holy Smokes pump at holysmokesrc.com, flypau.com, or desertaircraft.com. See you later. Bye.